tonight we are at City Walk at Universal Orlando and we are having dinner at Pat O'Brien's. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. If you've never been to a Pat O'Brien's before, this is actually a Cajun style restaurant. There's only three locations in the US. There is a San Antonio restaurant, a New Orleans that was the original, and then here in Orlando at City Walk. So they are known for their hurricanes. So we got some hurricanes to start. They are huge and they come in this awesome souvenir glass. The Pat O'Brien's Hurricane is 151 rum and their specialty mix, which is all kinds of goodness. It's quite strong, but it's one of those drinks that like kind of tastes like fruit punch, so dangerous. <laughs> so tonight to start uh, and to share, we have got the combo platter. This is $16.95 and this is uh, wings, Cajun garlic shrimp, crawfish dip, and onion rings. Uh, onion rings are actually not on the menu to get separately, so if you want onion rings, you're gonna have to get the platter. The crawfish dip is a blend of crawfish, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, fresh jalapenos, melted provolone cheese, and tortilla chips. And it is really good. It's a nice creaminess. Uh, it doesn't have a real strong bite to it. Uh, at least not that I thought of. We've got the Pat O'Brien's wings. They're great. And then the Cajun garlic shrimp, which are awesome. So they are breaded, deep fried, and then thrown down with a, with a garlic sauce. It is absolutely good. Tender, a little bit of crunch from the, from the batter fry, and then just that garlic sauce on there adds a little bit of like a, not necessarily a kick, but a little bit of a punch. It's really good. So, so far it's pretty good. I, this is a, I think it's like a little secret hideout place. I mean, it does open up at four o'clock. It is almost five, but it still is not very busy. And so far the food is really good. So something to note about Pat O'Brien's is that this is located on the second level of City Walk. So if you're looking around for it, you're not sure where it is. Normally once you come right in from security, you'll see there's escalators on the left. You're gonna take those upstairs, make your way to the right, and you'll see it right there. Um, they have both inside and outside seating, and sometimes they do have some live music. They'll probably have live music here tonight, I would assume, later on. Um, we chose to sit outside. It's a really nice day outside. And what's really nice is they still have heaters out here, so if it is a little bit chillier, they can turn those on. And they've also got like some, they're not really fans, but they're like air blowers, basically. Uh, helps to kind of just like keep the air circulating. Uh, and not let it, let it get too hot, which is kind of cool. Inside, they do have some pianos in there, so I wonder if they kind of do like a dueling piano bar type of deal. So the piano lounge, the original dueling piano show is what it is. So uh, if you want to sit inside later on tonight, that might be going on, but we're outside, food's fantastic. We're enjoying it so far. For my entree tonight, I got the Voodoo Burger. This is a beef patty topped with andouille sausage, crispy shrimp, cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, and it's served on a toasted challah bun. This is an awesome burger. The first thing I actually noticed about this is how tall it was because there are so many toppings on here. So typically when I've had a burger with shrimp on it before, it only comes with like a couple shrimp on it. This burger has so much shrimp on top of it and it's a fried shrimp that it's like falling off the sides of the burger and I can't even keep it all on there when I take a bite. So I'm really happy that there is a lot of shrimp on there so I can taste it in each bite with the burger. There is also a sauce on here, which I am not sure at all what the sauce is because it's not listed and I did forget to ask, but the sauce brings this whole thing together. It's so good. All the flavors together. I thought maybe the shrimp and the andouille, because it's a fried shrimp, would be a little bit weird together, but it's actually awesome. And the andouille is not super spicy because I was a little bit worried about that really really good and i'm definitely gonna end up taking half of this home because this is a huge burger it's like really tall but it's cooked really well all the flavors are awesome the it came with a side of fries you can also get under rings if you don't want the fries uh, but i just got the seasoned fries and they were super nice and hot like right out of the fryer whenever they came out so i am thoroughly enjoying this meal so for my meal here at pat o'brien i got the jambalaya which I will say I was a little reluctant to get because I was afraid it would be way too spicy. This is a $16.95 uh, dish, slow cooked Cajun rice, andouille sausage, shrimp, chicken, and a Creole sauce. It is actually not all that spicy. There is uh, a nice bit of heat in there that you do get, does kick in, but it's not so much that like it's overbearing and that you can't 
uh, actually enjoy the dish. With that being said, uh, the combination of flavors here, whether that's with the andouille sausage, the shrimp, the chicken, the rice, the vegetables that are in there, it like blends so well together. This is uh, a really, really great dish. I, I really like it. And I think the other thing too that is a little bit surprising is these portion sizes are pretty large. Um, it is $16.95, but I feel like if you're gonna compare this to like a Disney restaurant, this is probably somewhere in the realm of 24, 25 bucks maybe. Uh, might even be pushing 30, depending on where you're at. So uh, I'm reasonably pleased with this. It's really good. Um, and I would definitely come back and get it again. So I got the crawfish at Tufe. It's got New Orleans sauce, andouille sausage, crawfish, and white rice, and it is so good. I've been wanting this for years since we've been here, and it was exactly what I wanted. It was perfect. Tonight, I got the Bayou Blackened Redfish. It has fresh redfish, uh, red beans and rice, and it has seasonal vegetables and muffaletta butter, which is kind of an olive dressing on the top. And the fish was cooked perfectly. It was nice and flaky. Um, it was seasoned really well. It had like a Cajun spice over the top of it. And the red beans were seasoned well uh, too. And the vegetables were like zucchini and yellow squash. And those were pretty good. Like they added a little bit of color to the dish. They could have been spiced a little bit better, but overall the dish was really, really good. <laughs> All right, so we just finished eating here at Pat O'Brien's and it wasn't mm -hmm. just us. Josh and Hannah obviously were eating with us, mm -hmm. and it was a pretty successful meal, I would say. It really was. I was pleasantly surprised. I honestly didn't know what to expect going into it. I kind of didn't know what I was going to get. They're over no, there they're like, gonna, they're like pumping. cheering. Yeah, because Josh and Hannah wanted to come here, mostly Hannah, but yeah, yeah it ended up being a really good meal, and we it had was. a great service as well. So yeah. uh, I think his name was Dylan. He was really good. Yes. Uh, so, total and cost for just Taylor and I was about 80 bucks. Um, we had two entrees, the appetizer, those were all about $16, but those hurricane drinks, which you got to keep the glass and take it home with you, were mm -hmm. also about $16 a piece. And they were big drinks. So our server actually told us that there's about four shots of 151 rum in those drinks. So That's a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was really good. And I think if you, obviously, if you take those away, that's about $32. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a more reasonable meal uh, and cost, uh, especially for somewhere like here, for sitting down. I think that's really reasonable. So we're also taking home some food because our entrees were pretty big. Yes. And then we have the glasses. And because the drinks were so large, we could not finish them in there. They will actually put them into a plastic cup for you so you can take them out and then they give you fresh glasses to take home with you. Yes, so our glasses are already boxed up and ready to go. But this was actually really, really good. I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes, and this just may be because we have a lack of experience here, yeah. Universal seems to be on the lower end of dining and food, but this was actually a really good place and I would love to come back here and eat again. Pat O'Brien's really did it for us. And it's a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably almost six o'clock. It is still not busy in there at all. So if you're looking no. for a place to come in and eat, Cajun food, this is the place to do it. Yeah, surprisingly, City Walk itself isn't super busy Not that yet busy. tonight. Um, I would love to come back and check out some of the live music sometime. I think that yeah. would be really cool. But let us know if you have ever dined at Pat O'Brien's, either here at City Walk Universal Orlando or at any of the other locations.